Hey, you all. Carpetbagger here coming to you live from the north. More specifically, we are in Irondequoy, New York, right outside of Rochester. And we're here at Seabreeze Amusement Park. Now, Seabreeze Amusement Park, the fourth oldest amusement park in the United States of America. And it opened actually in 1879. So, a amusement park has been existing here outside of Rochester for quite some time. Uh, I had some recommendations to check this place out. It says it has some old school charm to it. So please follow me. And here we are in Seabreeze Park. I see a train station over there. Maybe the uh, best way to see the park to start out with is to hop aboard the train. All right, beautiful train here. I like the turkeys there on the side. Hold Let's uh, hey, find a seat here. So we'll sit here uh, near the back. From the train here, we can see the flume. Oh. That didn't look too soggy. The people stayed relatively dry. This trains are rolling. Looks like we actually head underneath the water flume there. On this wooden bridge. Again, we're, it's like we're circling the flume there. You can see the lift hill. It takes the people to the top. It's like we're heading in a tunnel at the same time as they prepare to uh, plummet. Oh, here we have the time machine. So it swirls these people around in a circle. Of course, it's called the time machine because it makes you wish you could travel back in time and not ride it. Oh, geez. And here is possibly the most legendary coaster here at Seabreeze, the Jack Rabbit. Now the Jack Rabbit is the second, the second oldest roller coaster in the United States of America. It was built in 1920. The only roller coaster that is older is the uh, Leap the Dips in Pennsylvania, which was built in 1902. So the second, the second oldest roller coaster in the United States. I think we gotta hop aboard this one. We're gonna jump here in the front seat, riding the second oldest roller coaster in the country. Oh boy, I don't even know what to expect here. The Jackrabbit Archway. And oh boy, that's pretty. Oh my god! Oh my god. <laughs> Around the corner. Here we are on our way back. <laughs>
goodness. Now when you ride the Jackrabbit for the first time, you're entitled to a sticker here it says proud member of the Rabbit Riders Club. So not only am I a member of the Clean Plate Club, I'm also a member of the Rabbit Riders Club. It says finally 48 inches. I've been 48 inches for a while, but this is still the first time I've had a chance to ride the Jackrabbit. So we're gonna put that, proudly put that right, right there. Here we go on a second ride through of the Jackrabbit, the second, the second oldest roller coaster in America, climbing up the lift hill. I don't know if you can hear me over the lifting, but we're getting about ready to do that big first drop here. Oh, here we go, here we go. Roughness to it. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, here's the tunnel. It's gonna get dark. Roller coaster brakes there. Got some sort of circus going on here. Circuit Cirque and Vol, the high flying acrobat show. Looks like they've been jumping. Oh, big jump. So some sort of trampoline. He's able to walk up a wall and do a backflip. That's pretty cool. Oh, looks like she's gonna do some sort of crazy jump. Oh, there he goes. Oh, right back. It's like like almost like they rewind their own jumps. Oh, she just beat him up and then threw him off the edge. But he's fine, he just jumped back to where he was. This little breezeway here has some carnival, carnival games. Classic whack-a-mole, whiffle wing, the duck pond, you have the little yellow ducks there. You pick them up and they have a number on the bottom. Water race. You shoot the water cannons into the holes and tries to get your your animal up to the top. This game's called Knock It Off. Knocking down three milk bottles sure looks easy, but trust me, my friends, it is not. Oh, we have the cat rack here. One of the classic games here. We knock the cats or uh, carnival punks, as sometimes they're known. Over with a uh, baseball. Then the classic balloon dart game. Try to pop a balloon with a dart. Again, harder than you'd think. Gonna check out the bobsleds here. Now this is a fairly new ride compared to the Jackrabbit. This was built in 1962. There's a Jamaican bobsled right there, but it looks like we're gonna be in the Swiss bobsled. All right, here we go on the bobsled. Looks like we got some little jumps right here. Whoop, whoop. Yeah. All right, there we go. It's pretty fun, pretty fun. Oh, picking up, picking up some speed. Oh, oh here's the lift hill. This is, this is, this is where things get scary. This is where things get scary. All right. We got a big drop coming, I'm assuming. We go around the loop here. You can see the, the bay there in the background. Oh my gosh, this looks deep. Oh, whoa. Oh, okay. 
All right, we're in, we're good. Oh, another dump. Blip, oh, there we go. <laughs> oh, got one more, it looks like we got one more, one more big drop going. Whoa! <laughs> a little, it's longer than it seemed. It's a compact little roller coaster. <laughs> On the curve here. Oh, 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 so many dips. Oh. Okay, we're going into a going into a downward spiral here. Whee! <laughs> All right, that was pretty fun. Oh. You know that was so fun. I think we'll hop right back on. All right, we're gonna hop right back on, and luckily uh, the Swiss bobsled is right here waiting for me. So headed back out on the bobsleds. Got the bump. Whoa. <laughs> like I said, this is a deceptive, deceptive. Oh, that crank! That crank sounds so loud. It's a deceptive, uh, deceptive uh, smallness. It's very compact, but a, a a a longer roller coaster than you'd expect. It's pretty pretty exciting. Oh, we're going around the the big loop. The whole thing is like one big downward spiral. So uh, here we go. Oh my, this loop, this drop here, okay. <laughs> oh my gosh. And then we got a little, little drop right there. And here it comes, here comes another drop. So yeah, it's a great roller. <laughs> All right. Ooh, going down, going down the big loop. Here's a drop. No. Oh. 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 Jeez. Oh, All right. Tapping. Okay. We're spiraling, spiraling downward into the final stretch here. Whoa. Oh. And there we go. I love it. Love the bobsleds. Got the music express here where people are twirled in a circular motion while they blast copyright music. You can see it's starting to pick up, pick up a good deal of speed there as it spins these people backwards. Here inside the carousel enclosure, they actually have a museum with some of the extinct rides on the wall here. And here in this case, we have some props from their old dark ride. So it was called Ghost Train, opened in 1945. These are some things that would pop out at you. This, this glowing clown head here, that'd be pretty terrifying jumping out at you in the dark. And then these little, are these like little kids, little evil children that would pop out. You can see they're motorized there. And then I see this, this dog here, this dog that would jump out. It reminds me they have a similar prop at a museum in Ocean City, Maryland. Some old pennants from Seabreeze, as well as some old tickets. It's an old Target from a rifle range. And then these are Kentucky Derby game horses that would race on the carnival game. You also got a Bart Simpson, a racing Bart Simpson there. That's interesting. So these carved faces used to be on the performance stage. So these carved dragon heads were actually on the back of a roller coaster car at one point. Got some old Penny Arcade machines and some uh, carousel horses here. You can see this one is uh, unfinished. This is the finished project there. And this big lion. These boxes here contain the rolls of organ music that are fed into this organ here. You see what the organ is playing now. It shows the number of the song, so apparently it's playing Jeepers Creepers. Where'd you get those peepers? 
Here we have the Whirlwind. This is a uh, newer roller coaster here. It's made of metal. It looks really terrifying. It's kind of the, the type of roller coaster it, it, where you actually rotate. Your cart spins while you're, spi while, you're, while you're traveling on the course. The car actually rotates and spins. So it's super, super disorientating. Guess we're, guess we're gonna give it a try. My chariot awaits. All right, and here goes nothing. Up, up. <laughs> oh my gosh, this thing looks insane. Oh my gosh, you got a pretty view of the bay though, up here. Oh yeah, that's a beautiful view of the bay. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> no, 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 no. Oh, I thought I was going over the edge. Oh, oh it's spinning. I'm going to close my eyes. Oh, I don't even know what's happening. Oh, my gosh. Oh, 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 oh my gosh. Why did I ride this? Why did I ride this? Oh, I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. Let me off. Oh, my gosh. Oh. Oh, wait, I thought we were done. Oh, 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 See, they all, they're all sitting around like they're on motorcycles, but they're also rotating in a circle as well as going up and down this roller coaster track. With every, with every, every up and down, they get a little higher, a little faster, a little more terrifying. Oh yeah, they're, they're starting to go there. I think we're going to step into the arcade and see what enticements are lurking in there. Oh no. The winner's cube here. This is a very, very hard game. But uh, they have they have the Yoda concept series. So an early concept of Yoda made into a Funko Pop. I think, I think Jen would want this. I'm, I'm going to take a stab at it. All right, so this game is very hard. You take that plunger, you try to put it through that little hole there and push the Funko Pop in the back. Best this way to go right and this way to go up. I think you only get one shot at each button. So one to go right enough and the second button to go up the right amount. So we'll put a dollar, put a dollar in, put a dollar in the machine. I want to take my dollar. Take the dollar. There we go. All right, I think we're good. All right, so got to move it right the right amount. All right, then we got to put it up the right amount. You got to line it up with the Yoda. It's a game of precision. I could not have gotten any worse. I'm gonna try again. Oh 
gosh, it's so hard. <laughs> It's so hard. It's so hard. Oh, I wish I could win that Yoda. I guess I need to just stick with what I know. Claw machines. Let's see what we're aiming for. Maybe that little blue guy there. He's pretty close to the shoot. Is there a technique you have? Is there a technique? No, not necessarily. Uh. No, slip through the figures. All right, I think that purple dog right there, or that purple rabbit, is pretty open. So let's see if we can move the claw over to the right back. I don't know, it might be too far back. Let's drop the claw. If I moved it a little, let's try again. All right, see if we can see if we can move the bunny. Again, it's as far back as we can go. No, no, didn't budget that time. Dang it, I hate you, Claw. Well, this is cool. I don't think I've seen this before. The killer T-Rex. Oh, look at his jaws. We gotta, we gotta play this. Let's see, 25 cents. I don't even What did he say? Let's start. What's the challenge? Oh, we got balls. We got balls. Then we got to throw in his dino mouth. Oh, it's harder than it looks. Oh, gosh. How much time? How much time do I have? Come on. Oh, I got him one in there. Maybe we can get this in there too. Oh, that one's stuck in his mouth. Let's see if we can see if we can knock it in with his other ball. That one went in, but the yellow ball is still stuck in his mouth. Let's see. Let's see. Oh, I guess we ran out of time, and the ball is still stuck in his mouth. I won one ticket. Wish you were here. An old timey family enjoying sea breeze. Oh wow, just got slammed with some rain. That came out of nowhere. Just started pouring. Run, run. Abandon amusement park. Get out of the rain, run. Run, run. Guess while we're waiting out the rain, maybe play uh, some carnival games. How about we try knock it off the uh, milk jug game? All right, got our bean bag ball here. We're gonna try to knock down some milk jugs. All right. Try a second. All right, last one. Oh man. Oh, good try. Thank you. Oh man, that was so sad. So sad. I, I didn't even touch the milk jugs with the ball. Yeah, this rain is pretty serious looking. I don't know how much more of the park we'll get to explore. We've covered a good good amount of ground, but uh, yeah, I don't know if any of the rides are gonna be operational for a while. All right, looks like the rain is cleared up here at Sea Breeze. It's a smaller roller coaster here called bear tracks, but you gotta be careful. Sometimes these small roller coasters are the roughest ones. So actually, I'm not allowed to ride bear tracks. You have to have a small child with you in order to get on the roller coaster. So all I have is this faceless little bear with me. And this hole here represents the hole in my heart that I don't have a little kid to ride this ride with me. So they call the screaming eagle. It's the people strapped in there on the bottom. I believe they're gonna do a complete 
360 at some point. Are we going? Oh, oh yeah, there they go already. All the way around. Pure, unadulterated terror. So I guess all that's left to do is hop on the log flume. All right, our log awaits. Heading out in to the flume. Oh, we're picking up, picking up speed. Oh, 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 watch out. Got a big, big, big curve here. Oh, all right. In the flume there. I'm sitting, I'm sitting in the very front of the flume which now that I'm doing it feels like a bad idea it feels like I am possibly gonna get wet I've got uh, I, I'm filming this with the GoPro I got my uh, regular camera in my pocket hopefully that stays dry as we head through the woods here All right. oh got a little little bit of a drop a little dropsy daisy right here. <laughs> oh no. It's getting. Oh, it's starting to get rough. Oh! No one said there'd be roughness involved in this flume. Alright, heading into this cavern here. Well, it looks like I got a little bit of a little bit of water there on the lens. Let me let me wipe that off. Let me head through the tunnel. Oh jeez. Oh no, it's splashy! It's splashing all over the place. All right, gonna be heading up there momentarily. All right, here we go, getting lifted out of the water on this conveyor belt. Oh, my feet just got wet, okay. Head to the top here and get ready to take our terrifying, terrifying plunge down the flume. Oh jeez, oh jeez, oh jeez, oh my god! Oh! 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 My sogginess level. More than I prefer to be soggy. Didn't look like, didn't look like people were getting that wet, but maybe that's because they were small children and I'm a large man. The larger the weight, the bigger the splash. And uh, yeah, I'm pretty wet. Pretty wet. So thank you guys for joining me here today at Sea Breeze Amusement Park, a very old school amusement park here, right outside of Rochester, New York. Of course, let's say old school, it is literally old school. It is the fourth oldest park in America. So very cool, very cool to see it still running and that uh, they've got great rides operating. They've got the second oldest roller coaster rolling, which I'm now a member of the Rabbit Riders Club. Uh, appreciate you guys watching. If you like these videos, please subscribe. It'll let you know when new videos arrive. I travel around the country filming roadside attractions, amusement parks, museums, haunted houses, and other fun stuff. If you'd like to help support the channel, consider donating to Patreon. $3 or more will get you a postcard once a month from me to you. Also, uh, selling pins in the Etsy shop, including the brand new Carpetbagger No Scares On Stairs pin, just in time for Halloween. Get yours. Wear it, make sure that all those ghouls know no scares 
on stairs. And all that just helps keep this train on the track, this boat on the water, this dirigible in the air. Till next time, this one's in the bag.